Welcome to the Militia Gaming community, I'm Trigger, and today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to escape cops in Need for Speed Unbound. Let's go! Alright, real quick before I get into the video, if you're looking for any of my builds, whether it be on Need for Speed Heat or Need for Speed Unbound, you can go to the builds page on my website, it's militiagamingcode.com, and then just click builds from the menu. Alright, let's get into this. So first, I need to talk about escaping cops in general in Need for Speed Unbound. From my experience, it's similar to Heat, but not quite as hard if you know what each type of cop car is good at. It's all about recognizing which cops are on you and then using the correct strategy to counter their strengths. Starting with the Charger cops, they're the first cars that you're going to encounter at the Heat 1 level. They are fairly weak and easy to crash, especially from behind, and they aren't that fast. You can usually escape them just by driving straight at over 100 miles per hour. If you're in the city, just take a couple of turns and they fall off of you pretty quickly. Next, you have the Ford Escape Cops at Heat Level 2. These guys are a bit more tanky and I don't recommend trying to ram them. They are heavier and they do way more damage to you as well. So instead, just take as many corners as you can and these guys will disappear. Not literally, of course, but they will lose you pretty fast because they aren't set up to be able to take corners fast like you are. You can also lose them by driving straight at about 125 miles per hour or faster. Next you have the Corvette Cops, which is at heat level 3. These cars are designed to go fast on the pavement. They're very tough to outrun, so you have to trick them or crash them instead of simply driving fast to get rid of them. Make sharp U-turns or a series of turns in the city to make them crash or just lose sight of you. But also, the best way is to just drive off-road. They're super slow in the dirt, and even the starter cars are good enough to lose them off the pavement. At Heat 4, you'll get the undercover Camaro Cops. These guys are definitely faster than the Heat 1 Charger Cops, but they also are undetectable with the Cop Scanner, so they will sometimes just spawn on you. Luckily, they are pretty easy to outmaneuver or to crash at higher speeds. And finally, at Heat 5, you're going to face the heavy units, the SWAT trucks. These units are easy to outmaneuver on the streets, but are near impossible to lose off-road, and the same when it comes to crashing them. The best way to get rid of them is by making a series of sharp turns, then accelerating away. Hopefully, you are not running from these with a slower car, because that's going to be super challenging, although not impossible. These guys have good highway speed, not quite as fast as the Corvettes, but they're very close. They also call in new helicopters to your position, which is super annoying, and it actually can extend some of the chases. Alright, so now that you know what each cop is capable of, let me show you a couple of examples of chases and how easy it is to lose these cops when you utilize the correct strategy for each car. First, don't be afraid of the cops who are traveling in the opposite direction as you. As long as you're going 100 miles per hour or more, they will start to spot you and then you will just fall off of their radar and no chase will start. This is especially common with the Heat 1 Charger Cops. Some of the higher heat level cops will actually spot you and start a chase almost immediately, so you just have to pay attention to which type of cop it is and just know you can either pass by it or you need to just avoid it completely, go into the dirt or the hills, and just get out of their line of sight. Next, if you're driving on the same road as a Charger or Corvette cop in the same direction as them, I recommend smashing into them to crash them out before a chase can even start. If you just drive by them, they're going to spot you for long enough to actually start a chase, and that gets annoying. So, just smash them right away. This will help you avoid chases altogether. Do not do this with the trucks or the SUV cops though because they don't crash out as easy and you will likely start a chase when you could have just taken a different route to where you're going. All right, let's take a look at this example. In this example, I'm at heat four and I've got two cops near me. The one chasing me is an all wheel drive unit and the one in front is a Corvette cop. Remember, the Corvette cops are pretty easy to crash out. So I crash him out first in order to give myself a better chance of running away. A helicopter spawns, and as you can see on the map, another two Corvette cops. Outrunning them is not even an option at this point. Luckily, one of them does crash itself out. Now notice I'm driving at about 140 miles per hour, 
and the all-wheel drive unit is already struggling to keep up. It doesn't take much to run away from those guys. My only goal now is to either trick or crash this Corvette cop, then just lose the helicopter by sitting under a bridge or driving fast. I chose to take him out instead of outmaneuvering him. Bonus tip, you can gain burst NOS from drafting a police car. So when they get in front of you like this, just draft them as much as possible until you have three full bars of burst NOS and then just do this. If done correctly, they will crash out, and doing that gives you another three bars of burst NOS, which you can use to easily shake the helicopter. Also, your escaping bar will go much faster if you sit and turn off your engine. When you're stopped, just press and hold B if you're on Xbox, and circle if you're on PlayStation. Your engine will turn off, and your escaping bar will go up at about double the speed. As soon as you shut off your engine though, make sure you open your map to see if any cops spawn nearby. If they did, you're gonna wanna move so you don't get caught with your engine off. It takes a couple of seconds to start up the car and get going again, so that can definitely save you some trouble if you're just paying attention to your map. Let's take a look at another example. For this one, I roll up on some cops that just happen to be on my route. The best thing to do is to take out the Corvette cops first, if possible, by ramming them in the back. It does no damage to you and it will crash them out the majority of the time. Then running from the SWAT trucks isn't really too bad. Now that both Corvette cops are out of the picture, I instantly NOS away from the SWAT truck and eventually lose them as well. Always keep your eye on the minimap though because you can spot some fresh spawns and avoid getting back into a chase. I noticed up ahead another SWAT truck had spawned and I immediately exited to the right to avoid his detection bubble. Now it's just about staying out of sight. Every time you escape Heat 5 Cops, the game gives you 2,500 bucks and that can actually be multiplied to 5,000 if you have the proper auxiliaries, which is actually a nice bonus to your bank. Also, if you go back to when I dropped those SWAT trucks, I was only going about 160 to 170 miles per hour, which is really not that fast considering fully leveled up cars can reach speeds of around 225 to 245. So if your car is an S plus car, you really aren't in any real danger at night when you have heat five. So feel free to go around and collect as much money as you can. Now all of these clips and all of this testing was done on the medium difficulty that's called challenging. It's not the hardest difficulty. I have a feeling that the majority of players play on the either the medium or the easy difficulty. And if you're still having problems with cops, then hopefully this video has helped you. If you're playing on the hard difficulty, you must be an okay or at least a fairly okay driver and you probably don't really need this video at all. So thank you for watching if that's you. There are so many different scenarios for chases that I can't give you examples of all of them in this video. It would make for a very long video, but here are the bullet points of this one so you can just screenshot this and take it with you. First, Ram Chargers and Corvettes if you're approaching them from behind. Always take out the Corvettes first, then outrun the others. Do not Ram SUVs or SWAT trucks. Always pay attention to your minimap for fresh spawns. Twists and turns are generally better than straight roads. The escaping bar moves twice as fast when your engine is off. And lastly, keep an eye out for my next video in which I will give you 20 spots to easily lose cops with map locations that you can screenshot and save to your phone or you can access on my website militiagamingcode.com all right thank you so much for watching shout out to all the heat 5 members of the channel if you want to see your name up here with the rest of these legends you can become a heat 5 member today just click the join button i will catch you on the next one trigger out